okay, I'm going to say it, kill me, kill me, kill me, I know. <laughs> but after seeing what I've seen in videos, I'm like, I've changed my mind, actually, or not necessarily changing the mind, but the narrative of uh, a perceptive of things. Because now, <laughs> what I've seen, um, the prime drink, right? For me, bef before it was about um, people just wanting to be part of it and that's it. But now that I've seen the video and all um, or videos of the expression of the kids, you know, um, the way that people are reacting really, really towards to this uh, energy drink, um, I'm finally realizing that <laughs> Prime is actually today's Pokemon. You know, if you still remember those days when we used to buy Simba chips and inside the Simba chips, you'll find the chip, um, yeah, a disc or a chip that is circle that has different types of Pokemon or different um, types of animation inside. So I'm thinking that... Um, Actually, it's about culture, collecting these bottles and wanting to belong, you know, as much as we wanted to belong those days when you, you went and bought the Simba chips and you'd make sure that um, you don't just pick a peg in the store. You, you'll you make sure that uh, you, you, you do like mini, mini more, whatever, thinking that inside there's the best chip that you can get. So uh, we went as far as collecting the chips is, um, you know, some of the people were using the ice cream containers to put the chips inside and others were just putting them in the, you know, those chips, they'll be, they'll make a big, um, if I find a picture, I'll just put it and you're just going to see it. But um, I'm thinking that I'm finally realizing that this is the time, this is their time to be the way that we were those days with those uh, chips. And people that couldn't afford Simba chips those days, um, they were left out. And I mean, Simba chips those days were like, you know, the thing. If you could afford Simba, Simba chips those days, you were within. The same as this prime drink, you know, because now um. It's 40 rand now, finally in South Africa right now. So people are going all out, madness, buying it. So these kids are like, they finally found something that is just going to make them cool. And before really, I just thought it's just being part of um, wanting to, 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 to be part of the owners or the people who invented the drink but it's it's beyond that actually for them it's really going beyond that because even for us those days the those chips were were not just because you ate simba chips and that's it they were part of our games would play with them and all of that so even them i'm thinking right now they're doing some kind of things with these bottles or with the collection of those drinks. Um, it's just they put them maybe there as in saying, um, this is my collection. Nobody's touching it. It belongs to me only. I know that my parents won't drink them or anything like that. Even already parents are coming out and saying that, they don't understand what's behind this drink because now the taste is ugh. You know, and the kids are like, it doesn't matter even if the 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 taste is ich or whatever. But the thing is that we want to be part of this um, a playful motion of this drink that is circulating right now. So I'm like, why didn't I think of it before? <laughs> <laughs> that it's finally happening for them. It's the first time that we really see, uh, except those um TV game or whatever, or um, games, you know, that they, they're coming with and all that. Now they have finally something that is tangible that they can go to store and just buy it. Or somebody, if you give them money, for a taxi or whatever, or a month, a month, um, 
what a month money for you to carry <laughs> to go or whatever to spend they've got something to save up for you know the same as we did you know when you got money the first thing that you think about those days when the tubes of pokemon were still relevant is to buy the, the that um that pokemon i mean that, that simba chips so that you're crossing your finger that you get the best chip that is coming out of that. Anyway, so the time went by. And then anyway, there were many things those days because there were marbles, the best marble that you could get, or the most expensive one. There were tops, there were yo-yos, you know. So now I'm thinking that to them, the way that we were those days with those things that I just mentioned is the same that they are now. It's beyond saying that this drink is um, expensive, you know, this drink is doing this to their body, whatever. But to their mind, it's all about being cool, being part of the society that is collecting these bottles or that is collecting this drink. If your kid has that drink, they feel cool and they feel that they're part of something great, something achievable, you know. It's just the same, actually. Um, that's why I'm saying that um, it actually comes to me right now that it goes beyond just buying that um, drink for them. It's really uh, being part of whatever that is happening out there. So I, I don't know what's going to come after this drink, but... Basically, something else is still coming after this because we know how market works. After something, they come and do something else and then they introduce it and all that. So right now, it's really their time <laughs> to enjoy it because now I believe that the same way that we felt about those um, chips that came from the Simba chips of the Pokemon and all that, it's the same way that they're feeling right now. So if you're a parent and you you know yourself how excited were you or how excited your sibling was when you saw them having that connection with the Simba chips and saying that they're going for that chip inside the Simba chips, it's the same as they're going right now for that prime drink because, I mean, <laughs> for them, it's just beyond just sipping that bottle. It's is it's just collecting collection all in all because now if you've seen the other clips others just want to have it just hanging there you know in their rooms just knowing that i've got this this is my crib and nobody's gonna mess up with it so yeah you know, it's just like that but now um <laughs> it's just that it never hit me this way that um it's all about being part of the movement that we are in you know or part of um the part of the journey that they are in because now for them it's all about being part of this society that can afford this drink you know part of society that can be able to 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 to, to say that i own a bottle of prime you know so Big up for people who came and subsidized the prices so that everyone and anyone can really afford it <laughs> so that um, the play can get along, can just go the way that it wants to go. So still knowing in South Africa, we still have those um, places where we know that you won't get people who can afford it. So maybe some of them are still going to throw them away because now as the thing when it comes, when it, we introduce it, yes, it's a hype. And afterwards, after some time, it's just normal. The same as those chips, when you got some of them, you'd be like, I'm adding to my collection. I found this kind of chip now. So my chip, my collection is growing, whatever. So with them also, the bottles, I think it's all about that. So it's just... um part of them right now this is who they are right now and the parents that can embrace it are going to embrace it those who can't really they can't so this is just the way it is okay we'll see you next time bye